I'm trying a new thing. I got a um, a little tripod mount for my Osmo, and I'm trying a new thing where you can hopefully track my face. Doing an okay job. Okay, so I just got done feeding the horses. I'm going to turn them out soon. But um, today we're gonna work on flat work. We have been working on that for like the past forever, it seems like, but we do need a lot of help with it. So Happy's gotten a lot better. I need to get better. I've been reading and watching and listening to a lot of writer biomechanic um, things by Mary Wanless, like podcasts and videos and things. And I'm trying to learn to be better about my seat. So today that's what I'm really gonna focus on. And so if you see me like putting my hands on my hips or doing weird things like that, putting a fist under my leg or whatever, then that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make myself sit better and sit lighter in the seat to help him engage his hind and to lift himself, which it does actually help when I do it correctly. And then I'm also hoping that the PIVO works today. The PIVO was kind of being a jerk the past couple, like two weeks. The videos have been really hard for me to get, and so it's like dying halfway through my ride. And so then it'll video me as I'm like going past the camera that's the camera, <laughs> but it doesn't um, track me after like 20 to 30 minutes and I ride for like an hour, so it doesn't really help me. So I'm hoping that I'll get good footage today. I might actually set this little guy up in the corner of the arena just in case <laughs> I don't get good footage. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. We're going to do flat work. There are some poles set up out in the arena and we might work on that. I don't know. It's not really the main focus of today, so it could just be another like regular flat work ride that I'm going to work on and hopefully be able to talk you through what was going on when I was riding. And yeah, I hope we have a good ride today. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been it's been fun. So I'll see you out there in the arena. Okay, while this B-roll plays, I'm going to address a little bit of Happy and Ice history. Happy was very difficult for me to ride when I first got him. He was a typical standard bred, but also had a lot of like mental and physical trauma that we had to work through that I was not capable of working through at the time. So my idea of riding him was not to ride with this like loose rein, very relaxed feeling um, ride. More was what we were doing was holding and fighting. So I would hold him very tightly with my reins and my legs and push as every stride with my legs. I didn't really use my thigh or my knee very much and didn't really see any need to use it. So we used to ride with spurs and a whip and it was very a very push ride and it was awful. So we have a lot of history with fighting now. So you'll see in some of this video that Happy will pull against me, not fully believing that I'm going to be gentle so a lot of the times now I'm over exaggerating my ask with my reins by just kind of hanging my hand out and just having him finally play into it and, and do what I'm asking. And I think some of it comes where he thinks that I'm going to get into that fight with him that we've had the push and pull fight for so many years. And then I also think some of it is just that he's not really like he, he just expects to fight, honestly. So a lot of what I'm working and undoing here with riding with such a loose rein and such a long rein is a lot of that push and pull ride that we used to have. And as you can see now, he's so much more forward and willing into the bridle. And it's all just because we've really dropped the hands and I've really started to focus on me and how I, you know, move my body. So there's still a lot of tension within Happy, between me and Happy in our rides, but it's getting better. And so I just wanted to kind of address that because there's some things that come up in this ride that I'm going to point out that are directly related to that. Something that isn't discussed with standard breads is the fact that once you get them like true in their gates, they're very wobbly behind. 
So I don't know, maybe it's not all standard breads, but Happy has a hard time being straight behind. So I find that he kind of fishtails a lot back and forth with his hips. So that's why we've started doing a lot of really nice circling and direction changes and stuff, just so he can build those muscles so that he's not drifting back and forth with his hind end. But he is tucking his pelvis a lot better than he used to. His back does not look quite as long as it originally did because his hind end is actually up under him a little better. But yeah, that was something that I've discovered with him and that doesn't really happen with the thoroughbreds that Stephanie trains. So I don't know if it's a standard bread thing or if it's just a happy thing. But his hips definitely are like Shakira hips. Like they kind of go back and forth pretty easily. This is probably the best example I can show you of a fight that we have. So in the past I would have just yanked his face to the left because I wanted to go to the left. I didn't want to keep going to the right. But now I'm just going to sit there and hold my hand until... So his body was kind of coming. You could see like his body was bent and he was kind of moving, but his mind was still very much to the right. So I realize now that I have to start riding Happy's mind over his body and wait for the mind to catch up to what the body is doing. Because Stephanie and Mark were standing right next to the camera during that, the Pivo did not actually get um, my left lead canner. So here is the left lead canner captured by the Osmo. I feel like his canner is doing a lot better than it used to, but I'm also a lot less rigid in the way that I'm sitting, and I'm also using my thigh and knee a lot more on him than I was before. So I feel like it looks way better. We're still working on trying to tell him that forward doesn't mean run away, that you can push from behind and kind of lift and collect. So that's kind of where we are right now with him, is trying to let him figure out what <clears throat> the lifting means and not just running flat out over poles and everywhere. Here is our right lead canner, which I feel like has always been our more balanced canner, so it always looks a little bit better. Um, he did a great job. I'm still really towing out with that right leg, so that was something that Stephanie was telling me. She was like, you're riding really well, you're really going with him, you're not against his movement anymore as much anyways, but you're really towing out with that leg and you got your heel in him all the time. So I just tried to, to keep my knee forward and just kind of 
stop towing into him or healing into him anyways. Here I am doing the Mary Wan list where I'm feeling the junction between my hips and my leg to make sure that I'm straight and I'm not um, over thrusting, under thrusting. And I do think that it's helpful for me to feel it. I, I do think he actually does trot a little better when I do that too because I'm more cognizant of what I'm doing with my seat. But yeah, that was just me kind of noodling around with that. And then we went back into the right lead canner and I just, he looks really good. I mean, he was a little bit above the bit there. I'm not really sure why, but um, he just looks really good. And here he is just trotting along. And we're just going to leave it here. His ride on this day was really good. He ended very relaxed and happy and here he is looking and chewing at the end and just kind of chill. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're enjoying the content. Please like, comment, and subscribe and look forward to next week's video.